Where do you run to whenever you face attacks from the enemy? Most people would be proclaiming with their lips that they are under the shadow of the Almighty. But in the real sense, they are looking for help from other sources and still expect God to save them. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. It says, choose this day who you will serve. The refuge of God's right hand is for those who dwell and abide under the shadow of God. Psalm chapter 91 verse 4 says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The hand of God will be your shield. Whatever the enemy sent would never reach you, because he trusts in the name of the Lord. A thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. The enemy can only try, but it can never come to pass. With your eyes will you behold the downfall of the wicked and those who rise up against you, because you have chosen to make the Lord's presence as your dwelling place whenever you face attacks. It is just like a child when he wants to feel safe. He runs to the hands of an adult that he trusts. In the same way, we as children of God run to him whenever we need comfort and safety. And like a fortress or an impenetrable shield, God absorbs the blows life gives us and prevent us from being overwhelmed. God's right hand will cover and lift you up whenever you feel threatened by the powers of evil doers. God is assuring you that he would intervene. God's hand is ready to lift you up. During these times, it can be difficult not to worry, but God is saying, trust him. Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 26 says, Therefore I tell you, stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, or about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life greater than food, and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet, your heavenly Father keeps feeding them. Are you not worth much more than they? Jesus is not saying that you are not significant or that your needs are not important. He is saying if He can provide for birds and every creature on the planet, how much more you who is worth more than birds? You are a replica of God's image, and He cares and knows every detail about you. If He knows the numbers of hairs on your head, and is mindful about you. Why then do you worry? God is going to supply your needs. We worry at times because we doubt God. We say we trust Him, but we do not really believe He would give us our heart's desires. As you continue in your journey of life, problems, challenges, and needs will not stop. You must face these and not run from them. But the good thing is that God is going to be with you through it all. And with his hands will he cover and lift you up whenever you fall, whenever you feel like giving up. He will be present to give you strength. You need not be scared for we are already overcomers and we have victory on our side. Whenever you feel overwhelmed by the challenges that come your way, all you need to do is look up to the heavens from where your help comes and pray to your Father. Jesus still speaking in John chapter 14 verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. All you have to do is believe and God with his hands will cover and lift you up. There are so many ways our faith in the Lord is tried by the devil. We as believers should always have the leading of the Holy Spirit to always do the will of God. One way we can overcome our trials and temptation is when we pray without ceasing. Prayer is all about bringing God's word back to Him. Hence, we must always pray and seek God's face during our moment of trials. Prayer is also an effective weapon against the enemies of God. When we pray according to God's will, He strengthens our faith in Him. The more our faith is strengthened, the more we have the power to overcome all trials and temptation. His word says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Also, study the word of God and obey His commandments. When we study the word of God, 
we will be reminded to observe His laws perfectly. The Word of God is also an effective weapon against the devil and his agents. The Word of God is also our guide. When we are going through trials and temptations, it is easy to get distracted, so study God's Word daily, so as not to fall for the tricks of the devil. Since the Word of God is a double-edged sword, the Word of God is also our defense when the enemies attack us. When we are facing trials and temptation, it is an opportunity for God to test our faith. God is watching to see what we will do when things are not going well for us. So we should always be steadfast in the will and promise of God. The devil might come in form of friends, colleagues, or even family to frustrate God's purpose for you. It is left to you to stand firm in the will of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. When you do this, God will be happy and will always see you through your period of trial. Remember, there is no making of a general without a war. All heroes of faith had to pass through different trials in which they succeeded, and that is why their names are recorded as men and women of faith. God cannot give you the bigger assignment when you cannot pass the smaller test. He said we should count it all joy when we pass through trials in James chapter 1, verse 2. When you face trials and temptation, your faith would be stronger. You have that joy that you are passing through a test that will make you stronger and better for the Master's use. One way to express your faith in God during the period of trials and temptation is to show love and generosity to everyone. The most difficult time to love someone is when you are passing through a period of trial. But showing love and generosity to others will help you not to face your trials alone, but with people with whom you have shown your love. You must always share that love of Christ in your heart with your friends, neighbors, and colleagues. It would strengthen the faith of Christ in you.